Welcome to how to use PowerPoint for digital signage. For more information, you can visit presentationpoint.com. So why is digital signage important? Digital signage is more cost effective than traditional signage. Traditional signage, you had to print new signs every time you wanted to promote something different. So digital signage is easy to change and update because you're really just changing files on a computer. You're not having to go through any hard cost printing. So they're a lot more cost effective and easier to change and update than, tr than traditional signage. Digital signage is experiencing explosive growth. You're seeing them everywhere. Look around shopping malls, airport terminals, uh, Times Square, the sides of buildings, almost everywhere you go, digital signage is just exploding everywhere. So why would you wanna use PowerPoint for your digital signage? Well, PowerPoint is software that most offices have and know how to use. So you've already got it, it doesn't cost you anything extra and you already know how to use it. It's easier to use than custom systems uh, and custom systems that are proprietary made by a certain hardware provider can be out, outdated very quickly and, and don't work otherwise and they're harder to learn. In addition, PowerPoint has access to many great templates out there, including templates specifically designed for digital signage. What can you show on your digital signage? Almost anything, anything you can show in a computer or monitor. You can show directional signage. For example, in a large hospital, you could be directing people to where is emergency, where is admitting, uh, where is the x-ray laboratory. So you can be directing them to all these different places. Events in a conference center, for example, uh, the upcoming events can be shown, the time, the room where the speakers or the event is going to be held. Advertising within shopping malls, uh, you can be showing advertising for, for the different merchants uh, right within a shopping mall. You can show videos, you can play audio, and you can also show news, weather, and sports. Uh, for example, a coffee shop where a lot of people might be going off to do outdoor things in a, in a tourist area, it would be great to show the local weather so that people know how to dress. Restaurants will often are all are switching now to digital menus uh, instead of the print type menus or the menus where they have to change little white letters all the time because it's so easy to change. You can be showing a ticker going across the screen of news, weather, sports, whatever you want, and you can even show TV channels. You can show TV feeds. So really anything you can show on a computer. When you're starting out with step one to plan your digital signage, here's a few ideas to consider. What hardware am I going to use? And do I want a single sign or multiple signs controlled from a central point? As far as hardware goes with PowerPoint, you can repurpose any old computers into digital signage players. Uh, so that's a great way to recycle old computers and still keep them, still keep them working because you don't need a really high end powerful computer just to run PowerPoint. Or you can purchase new, inexpensive, low-power computers for players. Or a third option that's very small and portable is the Intel Computer Stick. Uh, they're about $140, and what they are is they are a palm-sized little computer that will plug into any USB port. So you can use that just by plugging it into a USB uh, port on a TV monitor or a computer monitor. Step two is to consider what's the layout of my you know, of my digital signage going to be? What will I be showing? Because I want to need spots for each of these content sections. You can do a rough draft in PowerPoint and then ask a graphic designer to, to really pump it up to give it a higher graphic impact. Step three, here's a few tips on creating great sign designs. Uh, first off is don't put too much text on the page. A lot of text, uh, text is kind of evil when you're talking with digital signage. And you can see that illustrated here. Like, look how much text is here. And nobody's really going to read through that as it flashes on the screen. It, it's a waste. So instead, you want to narrow it down to what, you know, what single point do I need to get across? You also want to let your slides breathe, have space around them. Uh, don't fill them up too much. Uh, images have a huge impact. Uh, they you know, really draw people's attention. They, they are just rivet people when you have the right, the right images to show there. And they make your messages more powerful. They can really help illustrate your message. 
and videos. They've got movement, they draw people in, so they're going to have a huge impact on being able, you know, on, on having people look at your digital signage. When you're doing visual representations, you want to have some blank space. You want to, to have some open space to be able to give that additional impact. Think of every slide in your screen as, as an advertisement. It's got to stand on its own. It's got to really jump. It's got to be out there and, and work just all by itself rather than as a part of a, you know, part of a, a larger group. And keep it simple, like uh, less is more, you know, having a, a very simplistic, minimalistic design draws the eyes more and people can better see what it's about. When you're adding content, you want to be right to the point, keep it relevant and make it, make it there right away. Now, another great thing that you can do with uh, digital signage is you can actually connect your PowerPoint to data information that's going on. So as an example, uh, let's say if you had, uh, you, it was in an airport, you could have it automatically update with the latest flight arrival and departure times. You can have your ads automatically have the latest pricing. Conference center can have the latest events showing, updated advertising can come on. So all of this can be updating. Uh, restaurants, let's say if you want to change the price or you're dropping an item from the menu or changing a menu item, you can automatically update that amongst your entire uh, group of restaurants. So connecting PowerPoint to data has a huge impact with being able to do this. The tool we recommend for this is called DataPoint. It automatically updates your PowerPoint from RSS feeds, Excel spreadsheets, uh, CSV, comma separated files, Microsoft Access databases, SQL databases, and more. So the great news is you set your digital signage up once, connect it to the data, and then whenever the data changes, so does your presentations, so does your, uh, and your digital science. Now, what if you're managing multiple screens and players? You know, what if you've got, uh, you know, restaurants scattered across the country? So you're going to need a schedule, a, a scheduler or a player management system that's compatible with PowerPoint. And the one we recommend is called iPoint. And how iPoint works is it's a scheduler uh, that manages the server to allow all the all the ads, the information, the updates, all to go out to all the different players. The scheduling software will run PowerPoint, uh, videos, graphics, audio, and other playlists. So you can set all those up. You can schedule them as well. So you can have playlists and different players. So uh, as an example, you may have one area where you want to show a different menu selection than others because of local favorites. Or uh, you might want to show ads for a, you know, a nearby store in a mall more often on the players closest to that store. So there's some great things you can do with this. As well with the scheduling aspect, you could set it up so that when kids just get out from school within a shopping mall, you can automatically have the playlist show ads for kids clothing, kids th things to do, things that the youth will be interested in. We have a number of uh, free digital signage templates for you at presentationpoint.com, including ones for news, weather, events, price lists, airport, hotel, retail, and even digital, you know, restaurant menu boards. Uh, so, you know, come by and check it out. You can also find iPoint and DataPoint at presentationpoint uh, as well. So find out more, contact us for a free 20 minute uh, digital signage consultation. We'll chat with you, find out what your needs are. Uh, visit us at presentationpoint.com. We'd love to hear from you.